Journal Record Capital correspondent Catherine Sweeney joins us to discuss more stories making news in business this week. A big auction is coming in Shawnee as a private college is broken up. What's involved there? There is a Catholic university named St. Gregory's over in Shawnee and, and went bankrupt. They're going to have a few auctions over there to get rid of the property, um, to get rid of the buildings, to get rid of the furniture and things like that that were on the property and mineral rights in the area. Oklahoma oil companies can't drill enough wells right now, but gross production taxes aren't reflecting that growth. What's happening? Oklahoma charges taxes on oil and gas companies in the form of a percentage of how much money they're getting on each um, barrel of crude oil. So crude oil prices are down right now, and that's why production is up so much. They're trying to compensate for that, but they're not getting as much money on every barrel, so Oklahoma's getting less money too. Oh, okay. A controversial bill on wind energy finally made it to the House. What did they decide? There were two provisions that the state was considering to get some tax revenue out of the wind industry. One of them would have put a similar gross production tax on wind, but this one instead would get rid of um, a provision called refundability. So that means that a company can have more tax credits than they really need to cover their liability, so they end up getting a, a check at the end of the year. The state doesn't want to do that anymore, or some Republicans in the House and Senate don't want those companies to get those checks anymore, and so there's a bill going through that would keep them from doing that. That could save the state about $70 million for a few years. An adoption bill that puts religion in the process, also won House approval. What's its future? That's a little complicated. So there was a bill that was going to afford religious protections to religious adoption agencies. It would allow them to make placement decisions based on their religious beliefs. For example, they could deny same-sex couples um, a, a child to be placed in their home. There was an amendment added that would mean that no agencies that get any kind of tax money could be protected in that way, but supporters of the original bill said that basically gutted it because almost every religious organization gets tax money in some way, be it for disaster relief or other completely unrelated projects. And what are you working on for next week? Well, the budget just got passed out of the House today, so we'll be trying to figure out what that means and what's in it and how it's going to be different from last year. All right, Catherine Sweeney with the Journal Record, thanks for being with us. Thank you so much for having me.